Oh, just got in. Let me take this. I got this mask from the VA. They, they, I had my regular mask. I had my other mask. And when I went there this other day, you know, they uh, they said, oh, you got to have this one. I have no idea why. <sighs> what a day. Oh, by the way, this uh, this particular post is, when, in, in, look, the reason why I have this YouTube channel is because what I've been doing is like, call it an uh, audio memoir. <laughs> I'm just chronicling everything I do. And, and then, you know, plus I have a, this is going to be one of those channels where I just, this is like what's happening in my life. The, 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 reflections and all that stuff. Um, I do like, I like Instagram because I do these little things, but it's not really about well, whatever it's about. And uh, also on this channel, if you're watching this now, you should go to any interview. Go to the interview playlist thing. That's that's where the, the action is. Well, that's where I, I like. But I'll, let me tell you what happened. <laughs> so I was supposed to go to this place that does the FBI fingerprints, right? And they did the something scan, print scan, whatever it is. And I set up an appointment the other day, you know, whatever. I'm supposed to come in Today is Saturday at 2, 2, 15, 2 30 in the afternoon. And uh, so I'm, I'm, I got there, you know, I got to mid Manhattan um, earlier than I wanted, <laughs> like one o'clock. So I said, ah, let me go past the place, see what's happening. So I went there, and like, first of all, the things was down. I couldn't find Okay, fine. Um, then um, what happens is uh, I, call, uh, I, call the, I call the people, and uh, some, they said, oh, what did what you be before? They, they obviously they handle a lot of things, big Big whatever they do, and uh, anyway, I said, "Oh no, I see the I see the entrance right now." And they had this little, you know, with the the, the talkie box, right? Over, and uh, nobody was there, so I called them back, say, "Hey, nobody's here," you know. And uh, they don't know what I'm talking about because these call centers, you understand, they do not exist. <laughs> Where you know, you when you call, you no longer call in an office. You call something. I mean, they might be in Timbuktu for all we know. Anyway, bottom line is, I said, I figured what probably happened. Is that that there's big flooding? You know, there's some hurricane came through, whatever it is, and uh, maybe they just people can't get around because like like the major digging is flooded the the, the uh, I think the Henry Hudson Parkway or whatever the, the, the West Side Highway, all these places there, there was cascading water is coming down and you know like in the subway stations that kind of thing. So I guess they whatever they did. So I I drew all the stuff as a sign, you know what I mean? Because I work by faith, not by sight. I said, okay, I still haven't gotten this thing for South Africa appointment. That's a whole other trip. You know what I mean? I think I'm going to have to go there on Monday morning and say, look, because of the guard won't let me do it. I have to show them the thing on the website where it says you can walk in because I, I, the guard don't know that. You know what I mean? Uh, plus, I can't make an appointment. Uh, let me check, keep on checking the website, see what I can do. But make a long story a little bit longer. Um, so I'm there in mid Manhattan, you know, actually where BAI used to be, uh, which is, um, well, 35th Street and 8th Avenue. Um, and so what I did is I got on the, the bus going uptown. Let me ask, say, oh, this is a bus. Let me go to the health food store because I wanted to get some Ezekiel for nine bread because, you know, it's, 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 I used to do that a long time. But I was intimately, but, you know, it's a great bread. And plus it's not that, what are you, what are you bromide in it? And all that stuff, the, the, the gluten thing, they don't have that, you know. Uh, so I wanted to get that. Um, so I figured, how oh, let me go. And I knew this spot on 8th Avenue, it's like on 44th Street, 44, 54th Street, something like that, 56, whatever it is, you know, 54, 53rd, uh, but I, when I was, when the bus went all the way to 57th Street, I said, ah, let me just go on up to Harlem, ah, let me go visit my peoples in Harlem, let me give this money to to, to Watkins, whatever, because I remember they used to have, well, they had, you know, things, so I, so I just got off and jumped on the, um, the what train did I get on, on the A train. Uh, no, it's D train. Got D train, 125th Street. Get off, and um, I, uh, I then you know proceed. I said, oh, since I'm here, let me go visit my man. You know what I mean? Because I had looked on, uh, I found this thing. I didn't realize, but but Whoopi Goldberg supposedly did this excellent documentary on Mom's Maybelline, right? Love Mom's Maybelline. Can I tell you Mom's Maybelline joke? Okay, his mom is She's riding in the car with a guy. You know, the the guy is uh, you know, saying, well, you know, yes. Well, they come to a, a, a crossroad, and then he says, well, is, 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 is any, any cars coming? He says, no, just a hound, you know? And so he goes, and <laughs> it's a Greyhound bus. They get whatever. Moms, maybe. She tells it better. Come on, moms. You can't beat moms, right? Um, so I went there to, to look for this documentary, you know, because that's my man. He get all the back, right? Like he was showing. You know, that I've had a movie out, uh, Questlove supposedly had this movie that he, Produced, you know, about the uh, summer of '69, right there in the, at the time it was Mount Mount Morris Park, and uh, so I'm gonna see it in the movies. 
And in fact, I want to take a couple of my people's, maybe I'll take Jake, maybe I'll try to get Jake and Grayson to go with me together. But I want to support this theater that's on, what, the Houston Street did? It? It's, a, it's a theater that I really like. I like to support independent theaters, so that's what I do, especially in films. Um, so I went to him, and I found what I found. He got, he had what I needed, which, if I have it in here, he had what I needed. See, Moms. It's a documentary. The Moms made me the Moms. Okay. That's done. So he got there. And then since I was there, I so, said, okay, let me go check. No, why can Well, they no longer carry Ezekiel 49 bread. So I said, so, okay, let me go and do that. Ah, so let me go. Oh, then I took the, uh, the, what the, the 60, the, 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 the 60 bus that goes into, anyway, goes across 120 feet, goes down, comes down to, uh, you know, by Columbia University, because I know there was a health food store there that I know there's an independent health food store, and plus at the West Side Market, I know the West Side Market has all that stuff, right? So I was in the West Side Market, you know, and I got the Ezekiel. This one I got because I knew that also with that, I had a lot of variety of these secrets. Secrets had a lot of variety. Well, I used my B&H bag. Sort of like insulated. It was good because this is a, from the frozen thing. See, so I got the Ezekiel 49 flax bread. I'm into flax these days. I'm into flax. So I'm going to use that as a bread. I don't really do a lot of bread, but I'm going to do it this time because I feel like it. So I got that. But when I was leaving, going out the well, as I was walking, I found, I was walking past the thing. You know how you go to a market, you start looking around. Look what I found. Triple cream goat brie cheese. Goat cheese. Goat brie cheese. Now, brie is supposed to be good for how, you know, well, cheese is not that, you know, blah, 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 blah. But goat's milk, you know, I want to try to, since I'm into the sheep, the sheep yogurt, I've tried to find a sheep thing, but this is a, but I don't really eat a lot of cheese. But the brie cheese, I got this. Um, because it's not like, it's like because here, Jake said I can eat anything, you know, rage your refrigerator or whatever have you, because you know, you got a lot of food here. When I saw this here, you know, it's like, you know, it's like when I used to be artist, you had to go to art openings, anyone, whatever have you, and then you always have cheese and crackers, cheese and crackers. I always went for the, for the brie and the camembert, you know, whatever have you. And um, so I got that. Let me put this back here. So put things back where you found them. Uh, so I got that. So this is exciting. I'm gonna try this, not right away, but I'll try this. Put it in the refrigerator, and uh, so then I left there. And um, oh, oh, we had the train. Well, they was all backed up, whatever it is. So I left there, and what else I have to show you? Oh, and there's a you know a Asian, Korean, I don't know, whatever it is, whoever they are by the train station at the uh, Newkirk Press or whatever. Have you? Everybody goes there. So they had these avocados. For a dollar each, you know I me, mean? because I have another, my other avocado here, the big one. I use that some of the time, and um, I got a banana, just one banana. I don't really eat bananas that much. I put it in with avocado, so it'll, you know, ripen up. But there's a, a spoiled banana in there with that other avocado, so I'll make a few in there. And I forgot to tell you, not an, am I an avocado addict? I'm also a mango addict. Uh, so this is, these are got three mangoes, whatever they cost, things five dollars. And uh, so I'm, I'll, I'll do with a little bit of cherries I have left. But there's this excellent, mang there's an excellent thing that I do um, where you take, you know, I take the avocado, do, 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 and take mango, do, 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 and you drizzle some um, pumpkin seed oil on it. I like it. I used to do that all the time. Um, so that's it. I guess I'm, I'm set. You know, so that's it. Uh, um, I just wanted to give you an update on, you know, what's in the bag. I got to tell you, help, 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 you know, because you know, I got to start on my really thing when I, uh, you know, I got to do my, my exercises I've been doing, da, da, da. So I'm going to take the rest. Oh, of course, I was reading my book on the train, the current book that I'm reading, uh, like that. This is kind of, let me, there's a, there's a thing right in the beginning. Like I said, the reason why, well, I read, I read nonfiction books, you know, uh, I've taken a break, but I think I'm going to go back to I want to get something. Uh, but there was this thing I saw. Let me see if I can do the page. Is it page 17? No. No. Okay. Uh, I forget. I, I didn't mark it. 
I don't know why I didn't mark it, but I didn't mark it. Um, uh, anyway, it shows you, it, it tells you, for me, it, it, it tells you why you read these kind of do because they distill you know, stuff that's complex into, um, into, you know, like po popular language or whatever it is. So, okay, unfortunately, I didn't, uh, I didn't mark it. I thought, I, I thought it was right in the beginning. Oh, well, that's life. If I find it, I'll tell you again sometime. I mean, I, not that I'm going to really look for it. Ever. So it's further to do it. It's over here, lights, da da da. I mean, got a bomb there. Black Ridge. Oh, Black Ridge. Okay, Black Ridge. Oh, here. Black Ridge is colleagues. Oh, here we go. I think this is it. Uh, Black Ridge. Black Ridge uh, also shared several that died in mysterious accidents. Ah, October. Like that. I think this is, this is what it is. Uh... Oh, here we go. I think this is it. Because they, 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 you know, you, 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 um, how you say, um, you disguise it for your, you know, whatever you're talking about for, for the real thing that's happening. The, um, uh, that company, uh, they, f that company first set their sights on Black Ridge Corporation Solutions, a uh, firm known for work in the shadow of federal shadowy field of corporate espionage. The outfit was behind many questionable practices, but the one that Austin and his colleagues found most reprehensible was the Urban Improvement Plan. I love, you know, one of these corporations, they, they name something you know has got to be the opposite. Or U U um, UIP. On the surface, it appears to help developers uh, locate real estate. But Black Ridge, uh, I'm Black Bridge, I'm sorry, I said Black Ridge, Black Bridge, it's like, they, put, they, they, they write it like I write stuff sometimes. See that? See? What's that black? See to put the words together, the capital B, capital capital B black, capital B uh, bridge, and they put it together, right? Um, working with local gangs, this is important. Working with local gangs, Black Bridge operatives flooded targeted neighborhoods with free and cheap opioids, fentanyl, and meth. Addiction soared as the neighbors. As the neighborhoods became unlivable, developers swooped in to buy them up for next to nothing. They've been doing this for years, you know what I mean? For years. It's just people got refined now, you know what I mean? That's that's the whole cycle. The same tactic won results for political clients, PACs, lobbyists, and candidates themselves. The implementation of illegal drugs would cause a shift in population as residents moved out, affecting congressional districting. The UIP was, in effect, gerrymandering by na narcotics. I the U is gerrymandering by narcotics. That's what's happening with all these neighborhoods. <laughs> and now, just interesting thing right now, because folks are talking about, you know, there might be a civil war. Well, I think it's a civil war with, with the rich because they, 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 they got problems. You know, they got problems when they find out stuff is crashing and all this money, the whole thing. So... I'm, I'm, like I said, the Civil War, I think the downtrodden, I, I'm, I'm happy with the downtrodden, we should just withdraw, because the downtrodden, they can live on just, you know, nothing, you know what I mean? That we live on nothing, but they go, people go through their changes, you know what I mean? But there's going to be a fight, what they call a Civil War, what are we going to call it? There's going to be a fight pretty darn soon. That's what I say, that's, that, that's my prediction, a prediction, a prediction from me, T, from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.